The first time I sat down with Miles Noel and talked about the possibility of context becoming a reality right here in our community, the thing that stood out to me more than anything else was how much time he spent talking about the well-being of his workforce. And it took only that meeting to show me that Comtex was a company that we would want to have right here in our own backyard. It was a piece of land that we didn't know if we could get yet. The mayor was working on it because other people were interested in the land or had been turned down for it. So we just pulled off to the side of the road in Miles' car and he was explaining to me that this might be the land and a police officer pulled over to ask us what we were doing. And we were trying to be covert and I was nervous because it was a police officer so I blurted out that we were buying this land. <laughs> Anytime a quality organization like Comtex decides to make your community their new home, you can't help but be excited and pleased. Here's a customer that uh, we did business with 15 years ago, built a complete plant. 15 years later, they're doing it again with us. There's something to be said about that. We needed to do the second plant because we're getting to capacity on the first plant, and then it gives Comtex access to about a 70, 75 mile radius of customers. So we can go all the way up to the Cleveland Clinic and other parts of Ohio now to help spread our services to other hospitals that need it. They know our organization very well. We know their organization very well and we know what their requirements are and they know what our strong points are. And so we had a huge uh, advantage in the start of this plant because we took all of the areas where they felt that they could do a better job and we applied that in the design of this plant both from equipment layout and equipment options and design. When the switch went on, everything was perfect. Both of our health systems are faith-based, so we do a ground blessing instead of a ground breaking. Uh, we did that in the pouring down rain, and this was the follow-up, so we did the ribbon cutting. The bagpipes was a nice touch. So as we got to the front of the plant, the front of the plant's where we walked in, where we did ribbon cutting, and that's where the laundry comes in. They handed me the scissors, and then I handed the other half to Rick. All four of us ended up cutting the ribbon. Two, one, yay! The scissors are really sharp, holy cow. I don't have scissors in my house that sharp. <laughs> Comtex Columbus was, has always been the best plant that I've seen in North America. So we had a huge advantage in the start of this plant because we took all of the areas where they felt that they could do a better job and we applied that in the design of this plant. But I've had the opportunity because of this project to go around the country and, and meet other people that do this and see other laundries and we really are best in class. It truly is amazing how state-of-the-art the processes are that Comtex has put into place. This truly is a state-of-the-art facility. So it was very interesting to me to see, even since we built the first plant 14, 15 years ago, how far technology has come in this business to just keep people safer, the people doing the work, and then keep our patients safer. I am so proud of Comtex and what this has become. It's a team, but getting the right teams that are very professional, very passionate about what they do, their quality is unquestioned. And to have all those people come together and do their little part makes this thing successful. You can spend all the money on great tools, but if you don't have the people and the processes to run them, then you won't be differentiated from anyone else. And it's the culture. It's built into everything we do. We're very passionate about providing quality service to our member hospitals as well as anybody else that needs our services. It doesn't matter if you're a small little hospital that has 20 beds or you're a giant hospital that has 600 beds. You're treated the same. When I entered the office today, the first person I encountered was one of the new employees here at Comtex, someone who's lived in our community for a long time who I know fairly well. And the moment I walked in, he was quick to greet me and tell me how wonderful it is to have a job right here at Comtex. He's only part-time now, but he can't wait to be full-time because he's so pleased to have this opportunity. We've already hired 55 new local jobs in the Ashland community and already signed ongoing contracts with several local vendors. So we look forward to continuing to work with them. I'd really like to say thank you to the, the Comtex organization. I mean, they've always have been terrific to work with. 
This project, it was a little bit delayed because of weather and that type of thing. In reality, this should have been about a 14 to 16 month project and it was done in 11 months and that was a lot of hard work by a lot of people. We know right from the beginning that there's going to be countless families here in our community that will be touched by the fact that this company has chose to operate in the city of Ashland, Ohio. And already we're starting to hear from the moms and dads, the men and women who are coming here to work every day, telling us what a great facility this is to be a part of. But we're just really uh, honored to, to again have this opportunity to do the second plant with them. And, and uh, we hope that uh, we hope to see maybe a Comtex 3 at some point.